And so where, why can't we acknowledge that it's not mainstream Islam, but it's radical Islam, and it is festering in many more places besides Iraq and Syria? Look, what, Megan, what I fear is a bit like a Harry Potter scenario where, you know, he who must not be named. If you can't name Voldemort, you know, everyone fears him even more. When we don't name the Islamist ideology, what happens as a result is that people who naturally don't know about my own religion, Islam, will think it's the religion that's at fault itself. So actually, I, I plead to the president that for the sake of, like, you know, 1.4 billion Muslims in the world, we must name this uh, extremist ideology the Islamist ideology so that people know it's not the same as traditional Islam. And that way we isolate the extremists and we galvanize the majority against them. Uh, but that would require some leadership, and unfortunately, uh, you know, I, I don't see too much of that at the moment. Majid Nawaz, thank you, sir. Good to see you tonight.